and welcome to Beast Casina. Today I'm going to be talking about um, some Dollar Tree items that I found that I thought you guys should be aware of it. I am remodeling my bedroom, uh, well not remodeling but I'm painting my bedroom. Actually my husband is doing it. I'm just going along for the ride like I said but um, it's going to be like a um, dark blue with beige and a little light tone and I love the design that's coming along. Um, I also planning on buying uh, like a bed frame and things like that to go inside of it but that's a little expensive, an expensive size so it's gonna have to wait. But I love the fact that um, Walmart is having such a huge sale because that gives me a lot of idea. And then I'm also looking at um, other things that um, uh, Dollar Tree is doing and they're doing a lot of stuff that actually bring my imagination to life and it just gives me ideas that I want to do that I want to implement and things, things that are very very um after watching so many videos I mean it's traditional and things that you actually would love to have in your in your own um in your own bathroom or whatever it is that I'm, I'm, I'm doing um, first I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree, some of the items that I bought, I mean, because I'm so excited about it. Oh my God, I'm super excited because, um, I'm also going to uh, paint my, uh, bathroom downstairs, which is supposed to be like a beachy tone, tone. I'm going to have a ton of stuff. Uh, I bought this whale and this mermaid from Hobby Lobby and I know it's almost full, but whatever. I mean, I'm going to have a beachy, uh, thing going all year round. Who knows when it's gonna change again, but <laughs> that is for now. I love it. I love that that kind of uh, phenomenon. And I saw the the, the whale in uh, the girl's dentist's office and I loved it. I said, blue, calm, tranquility. That's what I want for my bedroom and that's what I want for my um, one of my bathrooms down here, downstairs. And when so someone comes to the house, I want them to relax, I want them to enjoy, I want them to have fun. If they have kids, then I'm gonna have too much fun because kids are always gonna keep you busy and running and all that. But if you know, if you're a parent, you know that um, part of uh, visiting someone's house is to ha feel welcome, and that's something that I love doing. Um, so one of the things that I bought was this um, can that says "Simply Blessed," and I love the saying. I think it's a gorgeous saying, and I hope that it doesn't uh, bother me with it. What I'm, I'm I'm going to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this and I'm gonna make a um, almost like a basket for the other items that I got at the Dollar Tree that are not from the 125 section, it's from the $3 section, which I love. And I think you guys are gonna love too. Hold on for that craft, cause it's coming up. I don't know if it's gonna be this weekend or next weekend, but it's gonna come up one of these days. Um, so this is gonna play a very important part in that part of it. Um, I know I had I had a whole basket in here somewhere. Okay, yeah, just come. Uh, come, push. You have to push harder, baby. Okay, come here. You have to say good night. Mm -hmm. Okay, good night, my love. Good night. Mm, good night, baby. Have a good night. Love you. So you can close the door. Thank you. Okay, so let's keep going here. Um, so what I love about the Dollar Tree uh, haul is that um, I found a couple items that are gonna organize my life, supposedly organize my life. <laughs> let's see, because you know, I'm not the most organized person, but I like to have things. I love the ideas of some of the, the YouTubers on online and who tells you that you always have to be straight and clean and all that stuff. Well, I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I, I, I try to be clean. I clean once in a while. I do what I need to do. But when you have kids, everything goes down here. Kids take priority. So sometimes you don't have time to do everything that you need to do. But, you know, it gets done. And eventually, it gets done. Um, and if you got kind of parents, then you're in the right channel. Because... I am not gonna be like, oh, clean, 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 and it's gonna stay that way. No, it doesn't stay that way. Even when I organize my cabinets in the in the kitchen, they stay there for maybe one or two weeks or three weeks or, or a month. And then after a month, I have to re reshake them again and put them back to how they are because 
what is good for me might not be good for someone else. So we live more than one person in this house, so it's hard to organize that. But my idea is that I got these towels from Dollar Tree. And I love the fact that they had so much priorities. I mean, I found, the, my first one that I found was this one that says uh, I have five of them. And I think that it would be great for anyone that comes to visit, they can just dry their hands and do this. And it will be something that I wash weekly or tri-weekly, who knows, depending on how many I have on hand. Um, so this one says four. And it says, uh, it's fall, y'all. It's fall, y'all. And they have gray and white, and I love it. And this one costs $5. This one I pay $5 for, it, which I didn't see the other ones that I saw after. I mean, this one is embroidered here, and the, 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 this is embroidered here. That's probably why you're paying $2 extra. But if you would buy this somewhere else, believe me, you will pay more than $5. I can tell you that much. So the other item that I found is also towels, and I'm going to put it in my bathroom. Like I say, I'm remodeling, I'm thinking of that. And how when people visit, they, they're going to want to have dry their hands, and they have going to have their own individual towels with all these germs going around, with COVID still coming back to life, and new uh, strand of it. You always want to be as clean as possible, so you, you can put Clorox in this, and you can tap a little bit of Clorox when you're wash your towels, put a little bit of vinegar to disinfect it, and so on. That's the sky's the limit. But I love these because this one saw are, it says, stay a while, and then it says, relax. And then um, this one says, oh, stay a while. Okay, so stay a while in gray, and then stay a while in white, and then relax. So basically, this is what I want them to do. I want them to feel like they're relaxed, you can either use this bucket here to put them in there and you know that's gonna hold maybe five of them which that's not what i'm looking for i want more and i bought two pack of that of the of these set because i'm planning on putting it and i love the the fact that they have the embroidered but this one is three dollars this uh this is all uh embroidered in and um and you it could, they're called washcloth a washcloth is just for hands, so you can use it whatever you want. My plan is to, one of these days, I will be doing this, and um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue this together, and I'm going to basically paint this, and once I paint it, then I'm going to, uh, to put a tone to it. A tone that's gonna match with my, with my bathroom, because my bathroom's gonna be blue, Mm, gray beige so it's gonna be a beautiful one track color and then my, my thought is to include all these towels in here because I want more than just one pack I want like a bunch of pack because um if I'm having guests over I want them to be able to to have as many as possible so they can actually uh and for each season I mean I'm gonna I'm planning on changing that the, the theme um this one can stay, like stay here a while, relax and whatever. Those are pretty good. But this one is to say fall. So definitely that one's gonna be only for the fall that I'm gonna be using. And then Christmas is gonna come around and they're gonna bring some Christmas stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. So I can change the Christmas tone and change my scenery and put green and, 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 uh, oh, and the sky's the limit, I mean. I can decorate my bathroom whatever color I want to because it's going to be beachy tone and it's going to be perfect. It's going to just be perfection. So this is something that, that is coming up soon and I'm going to do a craft and you guys are going to see it and I'm going to create that little, almost like a fountain for my towels. I say a little stand for my towels, but that, that's basically what it's going to be. And um, I'm planning on doing that soon. I also got this one. This one have like a Paris theme to it too. And that's also was $3. And they say this is called uh, Sila Sila B. Sila B. Sila B. And you have the 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 Paris uh, theme. And I love it because you know you can actually put it in there too. And of course I got two of those because that was the only one two that I saw, so I grabbed those two. I Normally don't pay three dollars and something. Come here. 
paid three dollars and something for for things like this but the fact that they embroidered i mean i love the fact and i'm gonna create that that, that trade that's gonna happen I, I was thinking of doing one, more than one come back okay mm, my beautiful girl mm, sleep tight mm, have sweet dreams and you can say hi if you want to hi so uh, basically okay baby I'm, you can't stay too long okay i'm not wearing my glasses because i'm gonna go to sleep right yeah now. she's going she's going mimi time mimi time be careful with that with that thing up in there okay bye everybody you know you're perfect just the way you are no don't do that don't do that go around yes uh eva always have to say that you're perfect the way you are and you are of course but can you close the door my love please thank you thank you Bo. i love you okay so that is my theme behind i'm getting all those towels that is going to be like basically trying to get um instead of wasting uh paper towels so much because they're becoming so expensive themselves at costco so we can use this little thing for when people want to wash their hands they can just dump it and uh, what i was thinking of using is using a little basket just for the towels and Remember that little basket that I bought for my for my trash can? That's what it's going to be for. They're gonna put the the towels in there, and I just grab it, take it upstairs, wash them, and then bring them back and fold them and do everything that needs to be done. I think this is gonna be a great idea to it. I also want to uh, put a little sign that says, um, "Please drop towels here." So. It's gonna be maybe a sign for Christmas or whatever time it is. But I love the fact that it's white because it's gonna I'm gonna have a, like off grain, and I could put a grainy if I want to. I could actually um, paint it with different color and put a little bit of um, baking soda, which I'm planning on doing with the other one, and make it like a little grainy, like almost like a some a structure or texture to it. I'm looking forward to doing that, and I'm can't wait. I, I feel like I can, I can decorate this, I can put ribbon all around and just be like a Christmas theme or Halloween theme or I can I have a Halloween ribbons that I can put around just to decorate and put like a little ribbon there and then please drop your towels here when you after washing your hands. Perfect. And it's going to be perfect because I'm going to get to wash them. I'm going to put Clorox. I'm going to put vinegar. They're going to become whatever you want and you're going to be able to keep your house clean and do that and organize it at the same time. And also save some money too, because the reality is that everything's becoming very expensive these days. And uh, sometimes you have to find a way to save or move around it. That's normal things that we need to do. Another thing that I found this was this boxes here. Um, doing it on a dime, she did a show where, uh, she did a video where she actually post put this in her, underneath the sink and she put them like this and she was able to put things that normally would uh, be standing on top so what I will probably put if you want to you can put two brushes in here and put them away uh, you can actually put uh, what else can you put um, you can put makeup in there you can put your brushes in there you can put like and then they'll be like right standing in your drawers and uh, in your in your in your little drawers for your vanity or whatever and um, they'll stay there. And you can put, put command hook if you want to and take them as you need it. Like this is all command hook right here and I, I just have to take it apart when I want to and when I need to. That's basically the concept that I was thinking of using in that. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna move these things here because there's a, let me see what else do I have from Dollar Tree that actually I got you guys like so much. Let me see. I have a couple of things here. Um, I was able to find those eyeballs for my um for my wreath. The eyeballs that I got for my wreath were, I believe they were purple and blue. Those are the ones that I picked. Or well, was this one, the green and the on the other? They come with two um more of the ornaments, but they only bring two in each one. Of course, I wanted more because I wanted to put more in my wreath and um. This one have a purple and a um, almost like a seafoam green, almost like a sea, sea. This one have orange, and then this one have green. This is a perfect combination of those 
colors that I normally put. And I love the eyeball idea, but they only brought two and I only got one last time. So I make sure that I bought more because I want to add a little bit more to my wreath. That's something that I, I'm probably gonna have to do. I mean, it's 125, you're gonna get these ornaments. It's gonna be five of them. This one have black and then this one have white and uh, purple. So I think both colors are amazing. They're gonna be great because my uh, bat uh, little reef have purple and they're gonna be great combination. I love the black, the black. I can even put it around the reef if I want to. We'll see, the sky's the limit. If you haven't seen my reef, um, um, my reef uh, um, videos, please do so. I am at, I wanted to show you guys how I decorated my front, uh, my front office. I mean my front, um, how I decorated my front um, um, door. And I, I no one, not everyone's going to like it that way, but I'm just gonna tell you, I love it. I think I did a great job. I think the job came out perfectly. And I haven't, I'm not even done decorating my, for Halloween, of course not. But this is my reef right here. And I put, I found two more bats. You remember those bats that I just found in my halt? So then this is my reef right here, which I'm gonna put more ribbons on it, of course. But then I put two spider webs right here. And then I put spiders on them. This big spider, I put the small spiders, and then I, what I use were the the little things that they come with. The the, I tied, I use them to tie them down, like right here. You see, I use these things to tie them down, and there's perfect uh, because, and then I put like this, almost like this, uh, the mesh that you put, almost like they look like a spider webs, and you can see the difference. I mean, I love the way my front up, my front, is looking right now. I'm gonna move this out because. Obviously, you can't see it very well with that there. But look, I am loving the way it's already decorated. And I also put some leaves, garland, and I put some up there. And then I have my little bat um, wreath holder up there. And what I did, I pointed it a little bit down so you can see it better. And I love, I'm loving the whole theme. It's coming along pretty good, and I love that that we are doing that. Uh, I also got these um, uh, pumpkin things that I got from Dollar Tree. They light up, and they are not very light up right now because the the, the sun haven't completely go down yet. But I love them, and then I have my wishes right my witch witches right here next to me. Which I don't think I turned them on. And they light up a little bit there. And they're just perfect for that part of the of the whole thing. Okay. And then what else did I do? Um, I know that I bought these um, last year from Dollar Tree. And they are just cute as a button. I mean, you should buy those. I want to get the goals next. And hopefully I can find it. I did see him, but I didn't get him. And you remember my jack that I got for 98 cents? At Walmart, I just put this uh, the styrofoam, um, like the floaties that uh, on his legs. I put the floaties inside of his leg, so he can actually um, have legs. So his leg look like he ha like he's there. But Jack is just perfect to my decoration. He's adding that little pop of uh, reality on it. Um, I also uh, put here some uh, on my uh, skeletons in here and my bushes and then I have the hands, the glowing hands that I bought from Dollar Tree. It is just a whole Dollar Tree thing here. And then you have the bats that I bought last year. And then this year I bought, I bought the, the spiders. They're great, I mean, but uh, the dry, this is so dry right now that I have to wet them and they didn't stand the wet and they keep falling because I don't know if it's the animals that keep taking them down, but that's just the reality of things right here. But look how my 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 uh, my reef look. It almost look like an orangey thing right there, right? Doesn't it look amazing? I think it looks amazing. And then you have the little one stitch right here. And I put that uh, different color, multi-color. Um, 
and I'm not even done yet. I still have some projectiles that I got from Dollar Tree that I haven't shown you guys really because I wanted to surprise you with it. But I'm gonna have to show it to you guys because they're so they're so nice. So look, you can do this at home and you don't have to spend too much money. I mean, I do have to say my reef took three years to in the production. And then you can change your light bulb to orangey color. And that's why everything looks orangey right now here. But I love it. I think I'm loving everything that I'm done for Halloween. And I'm still not even done yet. I'm still working on it. Like I said, it takes a long time to do that. But once you do, it's going to be a perfection in the making. And hopefully that will work out fine. I'm trying to look for that projectile thing. Oh, there they are, okay. Okay, so this is from Dollar Tree. And I saw this and on Cheap on the Cheap, I think it is. Oh, doing it on a dime. I don't even know which person holds it the first. But I wasn't the first one who did it. And I found it there, and then once I did, I actually was so enticing to find them. Because um, I found three of them. I wanted to get the whole box, but the reality was that I left my uh, my purse at home, so I couldn't pay for all of them. So, but this is what you can do at home. And all you have to do, my, my daughter is maybe putting in here and then projectile to the wall. And then you can see how these projectiles can be like as simple as possible. The closer you get, the better the, the better the, the the better the things that you get here, the better they, they look. But just keep in mind. Oh, I think there's a spider web there, sorry. I am afraid of spiders. And I just blow the heart away. So this actually can project out in almost anything. You gotta be kidding me. I feel like something is biting me. I'm oh, sorry, I'm gonna go back inside and I'll show you better inside because I don't know if something is biting me or something is crawling on me. No, thank you. I'm not in for that. So, this is how the projector look. Look, you can see how it looks amazing, and that's what I'm planning on doing in the garage door. So, once I do that, I am going to feel like so such a um, a, a wonderful. Um, it's gonna be more decoration for Halloween. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite, one of my favorite times of the year. And I definitely love enjoying this, doing this and showing you guys how much of Halloween I have done, how much I have worked. Hold on, I'm gonna put it in my stand. So it's gonna be a little bumpy here. Hopefully it doesn't turn off. Thank you. Okay, it's keep, it's keep, it keeps going. God, thank God. <laughs> it keeps going because sometimes it's so hard to, to to get everything to to go on on track but i'm gonna say as like you guys can see that i love halloween obviously i have christmas stuff up already and if i turn the light off i'm gonna show you i'm gonna turn this light off and then i'm just going to show you how this projectile can project to the wall let me see if i can project that here to the wall i can project i, I project it to the to the to whatever I want. If I want to project it to the to the, I love the fact this becomes a little bigger. I'm probably gonna need two for my garage door, but it's gonna be worth it. And uh, oh, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. You guys get to experience um, the Halloween experience, but just have this. I mean, that's all you need for Halloween. <laughs> if if you had to choose one thing to pick from the Dollar Tree, this is the one that you should be picking. I really, really recommend it. I really recommend it because it's worth every, 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 every penny. One twenty-five for a projectile that looks like very realistic, and that have ghosts, it have um, witches, and all that stuff. Is all the things that I normally go for. And I didn't even show you guys my my cemetery. So the front, you probably saw like briefly, but later on I will give you a, a nicer tour and. I will probably do a little bit better at showing you guys how it looks. Anyway, so let's go back to all this stuff and uh, Dollar Tree and all that. Oh my God, uh, I get a lot crazy when I go to house, uh, Dollar Tree. 
I found these um, little, um, what are they called? I think they call, they're called, I don't even know what they're called, but I hope nothing's crawling on me. Because I kind of feel like something was crawling on me. Um, this are little, little stands that you can put whatever it is you want. But I was thinking I can use these in my bathroom. Bathroom, maybe my bedroom, I can put these. I can put my candles in there. Or I can even put my candle when I'm, you know, taking a shower. Or, you know, doing a bubble bath or whatever it is I'm going to be doing. I don't know what it is going to be, but it's going to be interesting. I love this here. And then I found these candles. That might not smell too much good. I mean, it still smells good. It's just I don't know how the quality of it. Because, you know, it's, after all, it's, you're only paying $1.25. So it's not like you expect too much. They smell good. I mean, they look pretty nice. And they look so presentable. I love them. I actually bought two of them. I don't know. I don't know if something on top of me. But I'm, like, a little panicking here. So I love this design. And I was thinking that I can do this. Put a little stand on the on my bathroom. I can put a little candle for someone to light up if they feel that you know that it needs to smell good or whatever. Or I can put it on myself. I love the design, and then I can use a jar and reuse it if I want to, and make more candles and make it make it my own, or even do use a little jar to do oatmeal, a little piece of oatmeal to take to lunch or whatever. I don't know. I just think that this is the cutest thing, and I bought two of those because obviously I couldn't just buy one. I needed to for it to match and um and I think I put one already up. I just wanna give you this one. Let me see. Oh I found I finally found this acorn that look almost like golden tone. I love this because I was thinking of adding some Halloween little rub on transfer and adding them that little pop up color they already look shiny they look fancy they look something like you will go hobby lobby and you will pay five six dollars or even more not 125 for it so i am really looking forward to it i already got the the pumpkins that look like this though i can i can always also use the rub on transfer for adding that little texture of halloween or you can do christmas you can do the sky's the limit i mean you can Whatever you prefer. I love Christmas the longest, and um, I'm always looking forward to spending Christmas a little longer. So other Thanksgiving, that's when I start decorating for, for Halloween. So that's just me. That's my taste. I don't know. If you don't like it, you don't have to. <laughs> that's just me. And I love the fact that you can able to do so much with it. I don't know if I have anything else from Dollar Tree, but that's so far, that's all I got. Right now for Dollar Tree. Now let's move on to Walmart. So Walmart, I I believe I actually, I don't know if I did this in the last haul. I was thinking that I did it, but I'm not sure. So this one was um, a chalk. This chalk for the girls to go outside and paint, but they look like little cupcake. But I didn't just like that they look like cupcake. What I loved the most was that I wish I would have brought more because I could have used this. You know what I could have used this for? for little gifts for birthday parties and things like that so if you have a warm around you and they have these kind of things like that for 50 cents you have one two three four you have four you have four goodie bags and guess how much i pay for this 50 cents i was obviously not thinking very well when i got it so i only got one or two of them and i think i only got one which was bad on my part because i could have more and this could have been like a gift. I could I could have put this in my in my gift bags for my girls' um, uh, Christmas, Easter, or something. Or you could have put it like one of them for Easter. They're very colorful. Definitely, they have Easter colors, so that would have been cute. Also, color. I forgot about this from Dollar Tree. I got these. Uh, they have this variety of colors. They have black. They have. Um, other colors, they even have orange. I didn't pick orange because I already have everything orangey. This is not like a little bit burgundy color, so it's almost like a red. So it's something that I can use for now, and I can also use it for Christmas if I want to. So what, what I like, what I like the most is that you can stack them. You can stack the tray, this, and you can put things in it. I was thinking of putting bins, like stuff for Christmas and things like that. That 
then consider them like little bins that I can put in the office and actually try to organize myself better because obviously I'm not doing a good job on it. But I thought that the fact that they stack together, I love them. I got four of them uh, only because I want them to, to stack them up. And if you only have one, it's not going to be able to be stacked up like this. So they stack like that and then they go back and they go back into place and they become one. I love that because if I don't need them, I can put them away. And if I need them, I can stack them up. So that's always a plus from my perspective. And I love that. I love that you can do that with Dollar Tree items. And if you know me, Dollar Tree is my store. And the fact that they're going down on prices, they're saying they're going down on prices. I'm wishing that they change that soon. Because obviously, I used to spend a lot of money on Dollar Tree. But I have controlled myself a little bit more because expensive 125 times 20 or 25 items that you get that's like 75 dollars right there in out of nowhere so you can spend so much money on things that you cannot um okay another thing that you need to go grab at walmart this is walmart right now you guys have this plushie of nightmare before christmas my daughter genesis and eva adore them she if it was up to them they would be like mm, night and day night and day but what i love about it this is that people on amazon are selling them for a higher price and i i'm so frustrated because i fell right into it and i feel so bad because i got this i got jack i got oogie booty oogie boogie and i got sally if you buy want to buy the complete four sacks Set set is going to be and there's also um zero too but I didn't find zero zero I, I don't know why I have to keep looking and if you guys find them please send them my way I I need to collect all four of them for my girls so if you ever find them the zero one family members this would be a great addition for Christmas presents for my girls I'm just saying and that there. So the zero one, I got the, they got they got this one, they got this one, and they got this one, and I'm planning on putting them in their house. But this one, I remember Genesis having it in her wish list last year, and it cost thirty six dollars for this only. And guess how much I paid for it at Walmart? It was originally twelve dollars and something. So you telling me that someone is selling it almost for forty dollars online because? They went and bought it, and they now they're selling it online for, for a higher price. I say, no way, Jose. I'm not paying that. Um, but I act, almost fell into it, I have to say, because I wanted the cereal so bad to collect the, all four of them so I can put it in the bed for Halloween for the, the girls to decorate their room with them. Um, they're squishmallows, and I don't know what it is so much about it, but they look they very squishy, and they're cute. In a way, I have to say. So I bought them a twelve dollars in something at Walmart each one. But I want to show you what someone sent me that I thought it was this size for twelve dollars on Amazon, and I felt like ripped off because I was looking for this one in zero, but it wasn't. Let me show you this one. So. I got the, them this one, and I went on Amazon trying to get the zero one to see if I can find it. I should have known. The price should have should have told me that something was up, but I still did it anyway. I'm like, let me let me do it. But when I received it, I thought I was gonna get like the. I think this is 12 inches or seven inches. How many inches are you? I don't even know how many inches you are, but. It doesn't say how many inches, but obviously, this is the cereal that I thought I was ordering. I was ordering a big one, but this is the one that they sent me. It's Squishmallow. Yeah, it's Squishmallow. Nice. But I know this one is probably like $6 or maybe $4 at uh, Walmart or wherever it is that they get it. I mean, I kind of feel like a rip off, but you know, so I paid for three of these. I pay $36, I think, I want to say. Meanwhile, I paid for three of these was like $30 something. So you can see the difference. 
I mean, we can still use them, but I, I feel like I was rebuffed for the, for the prize because this is not supposed to be this small. It's supposed to be as big as this one. Anyway, it's my fault because I should have read the content and maybe they did have the, 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 the size structure. But I got... But I got the, the other ones at Walmart and I paid twelve dollars and something only. And the fact that they sell it for so expensive is twelve ninety eight at Walmart. And the fact that they sell this so expensive to because you want something is beyond me. And I think that um, that those people that are ripping off people on, on on the internet should be ashamed of themselves. But I'm not gonna go there because you know. Some people are willing to pay the fee of $20 extra for item when they only cost $12. Like, I think it's Jack and, and, and Sally right now at $40 or $60 online. And I only pay $24 for it. I'm like, $24 and you're paying $59 for it or $60 for it? You're charging us $40 extra for finder's fee? I don't know. I think that's ridiculous. Maybe $10 will be acceptable, but more than that, I don't think so. Anyway, let's go. Um, dollar, I mean, Walmart had be having a, a lot of sales. Like I told you guys, that when they're remodeling, you should be looking out for things. Well, I found this uh, pants. I actually didn't find it. Some of my coworker actually found it, and I was going to pay for something that I bought for Janice and I. I bought this beautiful Barbie skirt, but it wasn't on sale, so that's why I'm not showing you that. Um, which I love. I thought it was amazing. I'm I'm trying to look that the look them find them that the shirt that matches the Barbie theme and they'll have a matching uh, skirt with the Barbie theme. So this is a George. This is the from the George uh, line and it's slim, and the pants were looked amazing. This is a size 32, 32, and they fit me. A little snug, I have to say, but they do give in. So eventually they will give in and mold to my body. I, I kind of feel like they will. But what I love the most was the price. It was $3. I mean, online, they're $16 right now. But I only paid $3 for them. And I love the fact that I can use them for work. I got two of them. There was two of them. And I, I only paid $6 for two of them. And I'm planning on using them for work. And I don't care if, I, if they look at me and see that I'm wearing the same thing. This is one of the shirts that I bought for three dollars, and I, I wear it for work. It's very flexible. It's so good to because they work out shirts. So, uh, in the job that I do, I am always working out. I'm, I'm climbing ladder. I'm putting stuff away. I'm, I'm basically I'm with stock and everything. So that's actually something that I really really like. What I actually wanted to show you guys was the socks that I found at Walmart too. I've been trying to show you these, but for the longest, but it's been a while. It's been happening. It's been crazy. So I found these Reebok uh, um, socks that I actually found for $3 at walmart.com. No, that come in store actually. It was in store. I love them so much that I bought them because I think I even bought it for myself because $3, come on. I have bought Reeboks at Costco and I pay seven dollars for them so you're telling me that I can buy well Costco always bring like 10 pack or something like that so I it's always a good bargain to do it at, at Costco of course but when you get uh six pairs is it six pair one two three six pair for three dollars that means that you're paying 50 cents a socks and you're talking about Reeboks I was like okay I'm gonna stock up because uh my girls are always asking me those are the things that always go missing. Socks. Oh, the sky's the limit. We cannot find socks. Mommy, I need socks. This is this, this, that. I'm like, okay, look, go to your closet. There's the socks there. Don't bother me. I don't want to hear that you don't have socks because you have enough socks to last you a lifetime. I would think a lifetime, but that's not the case with my girls. They they take it out on, 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 on the stairs. And then I, when I send them to the room to go put it in their bin, their clothes bins, it's a mess. Anyway, but let's keep on going. Another, uh, let's see if I find this thing here. Another set that I got was um, these here. 
They are also $3. They're a little bit like ankle ones, but I love them because they are gonna be fine. You know, Texas doesn't get socks. That cold, I have to say. Well, hopefully this year we don't knock on wood. No, no, I don't knock on wood. Because you never know, but um, a couple years back we had a big storm that blew out and you know, we were out of power for who knows how many days. So we got help. I hope that never happens again, but the, being that the power lines are outside, that's impossible. It's almost like Dominican Republic, the lights always go out because when a storm or hit or whatever, the lights go. And that's what I started to understand. But these are cute. I ha They have different colors and I got a pack for each one of my girls and they all have that to as an option. Um, another thing that I got at Walmart, um, was uh, another pack of this bonus Hanes um, panties. Uh, Eva, the size 8 fit her fine. I was pretty happy with it, so I got her another pack of that. Um, and um, I just put the, ten, the size 10 for next year, for her too, actually. But I love the fact that it was $6 instead of 12 So they'll have panties galore also, so. As long as it, everything is, is, is going to be okay, I'm, I'm like, okay, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, what I have here? Okay, I I think I showed you guys this one's already. So, yeah, I showed you this one's already. So, I'm not going to show you to you again. Um, I guess that's, that is... It, is that it for the world? I kind of felt like there were more stuff that I needed to show you guys. Well, I'm pretty sure if I forgot something that you guys are going to remind me later and that I'm going to try to look for it. I love the fact that, you know, Walmart's having such a huge sale. Uh, please go get these at Walmart now because um, I guess when you decide to get it, if it's my daughter's birthday in March and they cost $36, now you know why they they are actually charging $36 for it because they are overcharging you. I am I'm not gonna allow them to do that to us anymore. I'm going to look for those things and, and pay, don't have to pay so much money. I mean, I know that uh, Amazon is a convenient store, but I also understand that people are taking advantage of us that we actually uh, order stuff online and if they're cheap affordable and you know it sounds like a good price then why not i would say go for it and, and do it i mean um but i also realized that uh the things that uh a team i think it is too that i i can find a store maybe if i pay a dollar extra but i mean if i don't have to wait i can just do it at, at that moment and um it will i won't have any problems doing anything else Anyway, I know this video is a little longer than expected, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna try to see if maybe next video I can do that craft things that I'm trying to do. I'm gonna need to create a couple of crafts that I'm gonna try to make uh, for you guys. Um, hopefully you like them enough that you actually re reproduce it at your house, if that's the case. Um, but um, I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I know that you sometimes watch the video, but you don't give it a thumbs up. I mean, that tells me that you got that I'm doing a good job, that my work is being appreciated, and that I uh, you like it. And that's gonna make a difference between me doing something and me not doing anything. But like I said, you can decorate my, your house like this or your office and make it look like Halloween or change the theme every year and all every season. I can't wait for change it for Christmas and see how Christmas comes around. I think I'm gonna try to change, leave it Christmas, this black one here, and change the pumpkin and maybe take the pumpkin out and put like a, uh, a wreath or something in there. And I don't know, the sky's the limit. I always leave my imagination and my uh, juice float and uh, sometimes they go in different directions like the door. I just uh, I saw those things and I was like, okay, this is perfect here, this is perfect there, this is perfect that. And the spider webs just came out of nowhere and in it, 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 two things, I was like, oh, it looks beautiful. I love it the way it's simple, it's traditional and it's gonna make everyone's store 
great. So I hope you guys recreate that too. But if you don't, uh, I also understand that you have different tastes than I do. So I'll see you next time on Bees Cucina, guys. Thank you for visiting me and uh, watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, if no one told you, you're special just the way you are. I'll see you next time and that uh, God is good all the time. And then you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.